Now, he could at this point start to straighten his arm. So I'm going to hold really close onto the, uh, both the radius and ulna here, and I'm going to hold him in that position so he can't start to rotate his hand up or down. I want that thumb up to the ceiling. Now from here, my forearm of this hand is directly under his elbow, and all I have to do is a little bit of a forearm curl here. So I'm going like that on both. Okay. So I'm here, elbow to wrist, drive down. Move to the wrist, get down, feed that in. I'll go for this Kimura, he starts to straighten out to defend. Notice he's probably not gonna keep his hand palm down here, right? He's gonna usually either start training it up because he's trying to get back maybe up to an Americana position, but he, he probably knows he doesn't want to stay here either. And so I'm going to hold him in that upright position and then I just curl both arms. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lift up on the elbow while holding this down and then my chest on his chest is going to be holding in that place. Now, the next thing that he's going to do is he's going to keep bending. So I'm going to control at the wrist. I'm going to slide under. I'm going to go wrist to wrist. And it's going to be kind of the same deal as with that straight arm lock, is I'm going to turn his pinky to the mat, and I want to keep his hands on the mat. I'm not trying to lift up on his elbow too much, but I want to paint the mat with his hand, and I want to start bringing it down to his back pocket here. Now, the thing about this Americana is that you know, we kind of emphasize at my school having it way up here to finish it, and you can start that and get that finished pretty quickly there. But don't worry about it. If you get too close to the hip, see, I just barely curl here, and it's going to tap really fast. So the thing is, is that if you start down here, you have very little to go from. So if you can start here, curl, curl, and then start to drag, and that's usually going to do it. Now, notice that my thumb is on the same side as my forefingers. If I put my thumb on the bottom side, as many people like to do, if Jet tried to really, really hard straighten out his arm, right, he's gonna pop out of that grip. But if I create that hook with that meaningness there, it's gonna be much harder for him to start to straighten out. Now, one thing that I've actually found to be a lot tighter on this one is if I go palm down to his hip and palm to his face, and then I curl both wrists. And that's gonna get the, pretty much the same effect. All right? So, we have that low Kimura, I'm transitioning into that um, arm, arm lock. And the thing is, like, if I get, boom, bump, bump, start to get there, get to here, he straightens out his arm, but maybe I'm not, I'm having a really hard time with him, like, fighting this, I, I can't keep his wrist in, this, in the right place, so I might try to, like, curl as much as I can this way, and then I'm gonna switch hands, put my fist in the mat, and then bend his hand over that fist. Notice that my elbow's going all the way to his ear. I want to make that connection. Um, it's just, if, it, if it's out here, I'm not gonna get the same effect. You see how straight his arm is, so I really want to pull that in as far as I can. Slide in, pal grip, pal grip, twist, and finish. And that is going to be your Kimura to Americana.